when I was a kid and I would look at these giant redwood trees that are 350 feet tall, I would think that there's probably a corresponding hole in the ground that's 350 feet deep. So I better be careful. I mean, after all, trees are made of dirt, right? So while dirt does contribute nutrients and water and all this other kind of stuff to the tree, trees are eritarians. They're not carnivores. They're not herbivores. They're more like carbinivores. What you're looking at is very, very beautiful carbon put back from its gaseous form, put back into its solid form. And that's why there's no corresponding holes because this dude is made out of air. Since we've been turning solid carbon like coal into gaseous carbon, carbon dioxide in the air, we've experienced a lot of unwanted changes to ecology, nature, and our economy, and probably will continue to do so before it gets better. But redwoods have also sensed this, you know, extra carbon in the air, and they've been like, get in my belly. Because like I said, trees eat carbon. They're carbonivores. Old growth redwood forests sequester more carbon than any other forest type in the world. 